Hindukus Himalayan water system instabilities caused by climate change are a threat to 16 Asian nations' economic development and energy security. According to academics, coordinated effort is required to safeguard regional water flows. 1.9 billion people live in the basins of 10 major rivers that pour from the Hindukus Himalayan in water towers, and they produce $4.3 trillion in yearly GDP. Climate change consequences, such as glacier melt and extreme weather, are already posing a serious concern, according to experts at the China Water Risk Think Tank. Water dangers would increase and multiply for all rivers. In the event that we cannot rein in emissions, researchers continued by saying that adding more water-intensive electricity infrastructure is making the issue worse. The rivers include the Ganges, the Brahmaputra that flows into Bangladesh and India, the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers in China, and transboundary waterways like the Mekong and the Saigon. In the 16 nations, they support about 75% of hydropower and 44% of coal-fired electricity. This also encompasses Nepal, Afghanistan, and other countries. The 10 rivers 865 gigawatts of electrical capacity are thought to be sensitive to climate change. With water being the main component, regions with a high or extremely high risk of flooding contain enough energy to power Japan for more than 300 gigawatts. Last year, the Yangtze River Basin in China underwent a record-breaking lengthy drought, which caused the hydropower output to plunge and disrupt global supply networks. A third of China's population and 15% of its electrical capacity are supported by the river basin. Water is a requirement for coal-fired electricity, and the increase in capacity in China and India might make the issue worse. Countries are being pushed to develop policies that assure the integration of energy and water security as a result of climate hazards.